Okay, a particle moves along a coordinate line. Its velocity function is vt for all t's that are greater than zero because we can't have a negative time. For each problem, find the position function st. Um, so I just want to review with you the position function. That's the function that we've been dealing with probably since seventh grade. y equals x or y equals mx plus b. We end up y ends up being the height value. So the position function is what is the height of y given a specific x? The velocity function is the first derivative of the position function. Speed is just the absolute value. So you can have, so let's say you're standing on top of a cliff here. You're maybe the coyote and you're going to push this boulder down on the roadrunner and the ro roadrunner says beep beep it's more like meep meep anyway uh when he pushes the boulder and of course the roadrunner run, runs away but as the boulder falls that's a negative velocity but it also has a speed that because it's going down it's a negative velocity but the speed that we measure which is the same as the velocity the speed can't be negative so it's just the absolute value of whatever the velocity is okay so and then acceleration is just the second derivative of the position function so it's the first derivative of the, of the velocity it's the second derivative of the position but this says we need to find the position ooh so we are given the velocity we're working backwards that's integration so we're going to set it up as an integration problem um so negative 4t cubed plus 45t squared um tx Notice we don't have x's there, so it's tx. Um, let's see. So I'm going to go ahead and get um, the general, and then we're going to plug uh, the zeros in. So find the position function. I'm just going to find the position function. Okay, so negative 4 t cubed when we integrate we're going to add a one so three plus one is four well th that will cancel and when we do the integration the first one will be negative t to the fourth plus well come over here 45 t squared so i'm going to add a one t plus one is three well 45 divide three is 15 so plus 15 t cubed plus the particle velocity function for each problem find the position function ah and they tell us so i'm going to go ahead and put a zero right there all right yeah i cleared it out wanted to show you because they tell us um the t value the constant value um, there's not going to be um, a constant that we ha have to put there. What I didn't add when I integ oops when I integrated instead of f of x, it was the position function that we are looking for. So when I did f of x and I got what that final was was at negative t to the fourth plus fifteen t cubed. Well, that's the position function. So I should uh, should have done this for you. Just like that. All right, that's it for this one.